Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the more honors to the apostles and elders, peace to the elect house of David. So this is Isaiah 60 and 1, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is risen upon thee. Thy light. Let's get Isaiah 61 and 1, it says, The Spirit of the Lord God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is upon me, because the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. So you have in these later Isaiah chapters, or should I say latter Isaiah chapters, it's really talking about the same thing. It's coming from different perspectives on certain things, more in depth on one thing than the other. But throughout the, the sort of last chapters, the latter chapters you can see the same sort of themes so verse 3 it says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning and what does oil do man it gives light that's why you have in matthew the 25th chapter talks about then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps which represents their light and went forth to meet the bridegroom and five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, even the oil of joy. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps, because the fullness of our redemption will be that lamp. The lamp is talking about, well, the, the knowledge, wisdom and understanding, but the oil of joy is going to come through that. Because as we always hit in Isaiah 33, it says, that's not 33. Right, Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is his treasure. The strength of our salvation, and Isaiah, when we're going into these chapters, the strength of the salvation is going to be the light. When the light comes into us, that's representing the... the it's, an, it's going to be a next level. Right now you've got light, you've got wisdom on this side, but when we get changed, when we get them incorruptible bodies, there's going to be a whole new type of light, man. It says, for thy light is come. In fact, let's get this. <coughs> to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. So that's a, that's a proof, man. That's a, another one for you Christians. That your doctrine is done, man. Appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Where is Zion? Let's, and what does Zion mean? Let's hear these key words, man. So when you get this word Zion, it's Tzazah, your one. Strong's H, 6726. See, that says parch players, but when you look at this, which is literally the same word if you take out these um, vowel points, which obviously you never had vowel points in the ancient Hebrew. That's how you never had these all manner of diverse pronunciations. They come through vowel points, whether people admit it or not, or take them out and still pronounce it like that's where it comes from. So that says dryness, parched. And then you have this a sign, signpost, monument, market. So it's the the monument of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's why Mount Zion is that notable mountain man parched place you have it says parched a wild beast desert dweller crier specifically wild beast we got off there but we'll go back to this to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give unto them beauty for ashes so who's this them who's this zion man zion which is jerusalem right zechariah 119 and I, and I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. They've scattered Zion. How can you scatter a location? The inhabitants. The inhabitants were scattered. That's the same city, the same Jerusalem. When you see Revelation 21 and 2, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Then it goes on, it says the tabernacle of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is with men, proving that Zion, Jerusalem, is a people, is a man. And it says, and God, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. That's what's being changed. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, around the 53rd verse, it says, O death, where is thy sting? Because we won't have those corruptible bodies. That's what it's talking about. Neither sorrow, well, we're not going to be in captivity. That's what it says, no, no, no crying. We're not going to be in that same thing. Neither shall there be any more pain. He's corruptible, that's literal as well. There's going to be spiritual pain, emotional pain that we won't go through, but also 
the botch in your knees, presumed to do to only 28. And sort of all the, the fleshly um, different afflictions we go through, man, in this flesh. And it, it is for, for the sins we've committed either in this life or the life before, but still, we're going to get changed. So there's, there's, a, there's a greater thing to look through, a greater tabernacle. It says, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. And just like the earth is going to have to be cleansed by fire, so is the trial of our faith. And when we're made perfect, when we are that even more precious than that uh, precious gold of our fear. That's when we get that change. That's when we get that light. And that's when we get the um, the upgrade, man. You also have Revelation chapter 7. The last verse in there says, For the Lamb, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living waters, living fountains of waters. And God, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Talking about the elect, the sealing. So, it's very obvious when, when you... I think we've... The olive joy from one in the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, or they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that he might be glorified. And obviously it goes on to um, the strangers and all of them things. But it says, um, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the Lord of you, and the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Bashami Hawashai, is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But Yahweh Bashami Hawashai shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And also, what darkness? It talks about the moon, all, or everything, the whole, all of the elements become as dark. Where can you find that? But the Lord, Yahweh Bashami Hawashai, shall arise upon thee. And it's like, uh, reminds me of Psalm 91. Psalm 91 it says He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty and the shadow, that's not like the shadow of Egypt but the shadow represents sort of being covered but you're not covered in darkness you're covered in the light even the light shining upon thee and it says um, Psalm 91 and 4 He shall cover thee with his feathers representing power, strength and deliverance under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So this truth, that whether you, you might have cast it under your feet, you might have laughed, scoffed at it, sort of gone along with it because people around you were, but we'll see in that day, innit? It says, five, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. And that reminds you of um, not wisdom of Solomon. Um, I mean, not, uh, you know what I mean? Not Isaiah 33 and 6. But well, 2 Timothy 1 and 7, For God, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. So the elect will shine through this, man. The elect shall th shine through this, because they know what's going on, they know it's to come, and they have faith that they will be delivered from it. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at moonday, and the waster, the waste to destroy, man, is talking about these, um, all these different manner of smiths and different things that the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, has put on their spirit to fulfill. Just like in Revelation 17 and 10, you have certain kings that are, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. That's uh, Proverbs chapter 21 and 1. So in Revelation 17 and 10, you see how the kings, uh, he put certain things in their heart to fulfill his will, man. That's another cut on free will. So Psalm 91 and um, we'll do six. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at midday. It's talking about that noisome soul, man. That noisome pestilence. It says, uh, 91 and 7, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. So there's going to be certain plagues, certain vials, but it's not going to touch the elect, man. And if you have faith in that, you have to have faith in that. It's not a wavering thing, a lukewarm thing. You get spat out, man. Spat out. Because you went hot nor cold. So Isaiah chapter 60, and I read verse 2 again. It says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So that's where it comes in to be the separation, man. The separation being made. And you have to, you have to make your calling and election sure. So Lord willing, that was edifying. 
On to the next one, Lord willing. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Brachatam. Ka'atha Halathu Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai.